Welcome everybody, it's Tractor Shoot here, bringing it home with game number 5 in the morning. We're going to get this one going here with the Red Terror being played as Punkin King King, Punkin King, Punkin King, Punkin King, Punkin King. All right, I got you, Punkin King. There you go. Good luck. Have fun. UT. UT, buddy. UT. In the upper right-hand corner is Firewalker, apparently, when he played for Team Copper, because uh, now he plays for Cheese 420 or something. So I'm not too sure where his alliances lay, but either way, we're going to watch this one anyways. Mr. Firewalker playing as our blue. Punk. Kin King playing as our red. This will be good. TVP or PVT, however you want to word it. There we go. Gateway into a gas. Beautifully done there, my man. We're going to get ourselves a standard wall off at the natural for a good man of Punkin King. I can't handle this. That name's going to bug the shit out of me. We just call him Punkin. So Punkin going to get himself a standard wall off. Firewalker going to... Uh, not too sure what Firewalker going to do yet, but Firewalker going to get a gateway out anyways. Simulator out as well. Silver League Heroes, eh? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I remember I used to do that on this channel here. I had a few different series. Silver League Heroes was one of them. Silver League Superheroes, I think I called it. I can't remember, but it was something similar to that. So we get that finished off there. We get ourselves a whole shit ton of supply depots. So we're going to go with the supply depot wall. Never ever going to be supply blocked at this rate supply blocked at this rate here and we're gonna do the expansion and turtle it up a bit here no you're gonna mine from down there that's even better all right Mary this guy didn't want to mine with these guys over here so he decided he to start his own little mining uh, down on the uh, natural brilliant move double gas coming out of firewalker beautifully done there we got a laptop here I got to fix as well it's not bad it's got an i5 in it uh, Toshiba satellite pretty decent but the CMOS battery went in it which was kind of surprising but then again it had a shelf life but he had bought it my mechanic is who it is he had bought it I guess and it sat in the closet for a long time so when he went to turn it on it came up and said oh we need your date and time and so he replaced that battery but that didn't do any good so I turned it on changed the date and time and left it running which is supposed to recharge that battery hopefully from what I understand so We'll see what happens in the end. I'll piss around with that a little bit later this morning. Maybe get a little bit of NHL 17 going on the PS4 with a friend there. Uh, get some ESHL going. Holy shit. We're going to go five supply depot wall. Beautifully done. Going to go into two. The fuck? Holy shit. Okay, we're just going to start pumping Marines out of this. Uh, we get ourselves some gas and build a reactor. There's also another one. What the fuck is he long distance mining? Well, I guess he's oversaturated here, so why not? All right, fair enough. Timing a little bit off, but at the same time, could be in bronze, could be in silver, but that'll just get better with time. There's the Nexus going down to the natural. Are you going to go Twilight Cancel here? So Firewalker is liking the Twilight Cancel. Maybe we're going for some charge lots here. Or it could be going with some uh, Dark Templars or maybe use some High Templars. A lot of options with that baby, so we'll find out. In the meantime, we do have a little bit of scouting happening for a good man, Firewalker. You can go all the way around the map. His opponent, in the meantime, he scout anything? I'm not entirely sure. You got something? No. No. Does not look that way. Firewalker's got himself... Not bad of vision. Pumpkin, yeah, Pumpkin hasn't seen nothing. Pumpkin doesn't even know that the game started. Firewalker knows this is here, but of course can't get any further than that. So basically he knows his opponent's running on two base. So it leaves him a little bit safer and a little bit of time he needed to set this up down here. There we go. He's going to drop himself down the proxy as Firewalker. In the meantime, what's he going to go with? A few more gateways because why not? And charge lots, yes it is. There we go. Charge lots going to be the answer here because why not? We could charge right through these uh, supply depots, I guess, the idea. Uh, got a couple options here. You can either try and charge through there. Uh, not charge through. You can either look to bust through that with some units. Or he could grab a warp prism and uh, drop them up top. It's really... Really up to him, because there's going to be quite a few Marines down there by the time he gets down there. So he's going to send this army in anyways. He's got himself the Mothership Corps. is going to help him out as well. Point in the meantime, I don't know if he has much more of a plan. Oh, yeah, there we go. Tech Lab was going to say other than Marines. But now he's going to get himself out some Marauders as well. So very well done. But no upgrades. Definitely want to get some gas out, buddy, so you can start pumping some upgrades. Oh, he is going with the upgrade of uh, Tier 1... Tier 1 uh, weapons for his infantry, so very well done there. Oh, it's like a Firewalker is going to bring down a few units here and just kind of set them outside here. Don't know what he plans on doing with that, because that's not going to last very long against those Marines. But we will see if he decides to challenge the wall, and I'm about to sneeze. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, man. 
Yeah, got himself a few charge lots right down here. Look at how happy they are. And yeah, charge lot technology is done. So he could get them down there and get a whole bunch of them Z lots on them. Supply depots will go pretty well for him, I would imagine. Not a whole lot of unit count down here. Oh, wow. He got high Templar and dark Templar. He can go either way. Here. He's going with Sonic Storm. And he's going with the dark Templar, dark shrine there. So yeah, I'm not sure. He's giving himself options. Don't give him that much. High Templar is always a good choice when you're playing against Terran because most of the time they're going to have a Marine Marauder type build. Oh, it looks like we are going to expand one more time. Not, the, the reason I'm not liking what Punkin is doing here is because he hasn't scouted. He has no idea what's going on, yet he's continuing to expand blindly. Like, absolutely blindly. You only have a few Marines and Marauders. You don't even know what your opponent has at this point. So, yeah, I don't know about this. He's getting away with it because Firewalker isn't putting any pressure on to him here. But at the same time, yeah, it's, that's ballsy, man. It's it definitely ballsy. I will give him that. And there we go. We already got the high temper out there. So very well done with that. And I imagine that the dark darkies are going to come in here pretty soon. Oh, yeah, there's the darkie building right now. Where's that darkie go? Where's that darkie go? I don't know where that darkie's go, but he, is he building the darkie? Or is he warping in the darky? Oh, he's warping in the darky somewhere, I bet. Not too shabby. Let's check our units out here. Darky, you are. Oh, yeah, you warp me way up here. Not too shabby. Opponent's got to have something for detection. Oh, yeah, he's got his uh, observe facilities. That's one of the reasons darkies don't work against Terrans all that well is because they usually have their uh, orbital commands out. So they'll, they'll scan you pretty quick here. But it does look like Firewalker is going to build this army up and see what he can do with it. The High Templar is definitely going to help a lot for Psionic Storm. And, oh yeah, shit ton of charge lots coming out here. Did he leave his front door open? Where'd you, oh yeah, that's open. Oh, that might be disaster. Here he goes. There's the scan. The uh, scan didn't hit anything other than way up here, I think. Let's actually see where he did scan. Oh no, he was trying to scan the army. All right. This is uh, this is going to be a little bit of trouble. You got to get that wall back up there, buddy. Even with that wall up, actually, you have nothing behind it. Here we go. You got to push this right into the main. Oh, yeah, he sees it now. Now he knows the army's there. You got to put that supply depot up, buddy. Oh, yeah. Charge lots are getting in. They don't care. Oh, yeah, this is bad. This is really bad. You got to push them right into the middle line. They're going to kick shit off. Army is coming back here, though. There's all oh, the storm. The storm is dirty. Wow, did that ever take out a lot. Charge a lot to finish off what's at the expansion. But he might have enough. Depends on how he does this. No. That is not looking good at all. This is big trouble. Oh, yeah, warping in on the back end, too. This is big trouble for him. They're going to knock down the last couple marauders. Opponent is slowly building uh, some more out of his uh, barracks up here. Might have enough to fend this one attack off here. He has the uh, medevacs, which are saving him here. In the meantime, here comes the darkies, though. Now, if he doesn't get the scan off here in time, well, this gives him time. The supply depots know they're there. All right, you blocked them long enough to know the darkies are in there. You got to run a scan, buddy. Scan. Scan. No. No. Oh, no, he could have fed it. Had he scanned in time, and he could have because he knew when the darkies were attacking the supply depots, it gave him time. Even as a bronze or a silver player, you have enough time at that point, but I guess it just didn't click in his head in time. That's all right, though. Pumpkin, you gave it your all. Firewalker, you take this one home. I don't know. If leaves were green, I'd be out of business. Peace.